This is 17 year old Rory Smith. Rory has been playing rugby since the age of 5 and has always been aspiring to be a pro when he was older. He was living his dream life playing for the age groups at his boyhood club Leicester Tigers but then his career took a twist. He wasn't taken on into the academy so Rory was no longer a full time rugby player for the Leicester Tigers but he decided he wasn't going to give up and he was going to pursue his career whether it was in England or not. And this is his journey. This was the beginning for Rory Smith. This is all Rory had to stay in. A little apartment to get himself started in his new club. And the next day is the big day as he goes to see who he signed for. We are in Cape Town and we are playing in the Curry Cup squad for the DHL Western Province. And yeah, so Rory Smith has moved literally to the other side of the world to try and pursue his rugby career. Let's just hope it pays off for him. I need to remember as well, this is it. There's no pre-season for me after signing with my new club, the DHL Western Province. This is it. It's game on from day one. We're in the competition and as the team bus pulls up, I've never played in anything like this before. I've never played in a stadium as big as this. I'm used to only playing on academy pitches. And then you see this. I get off the bus with my headphones on, my shorts and sliders on. The fans aren't even recognising me. They're all rushing to everyone else. Nothing for me. But I'm walking up the stairs. My heart rate's pumping. But I'm excited to get into it. So here we go. I'm not going to keep you any longer. It is time for our first match. And it is straight in at the deep end for Rory Smith. As he's playing for the DHL Western Province. Against the Vodacom Blue Bulls. In round one of the Curry Cup. There is no pre-season. His late call up is Rory Smith. And he's got a lot on his hands. And he's got a lot to do. To be able to keep his place in the squad. And as you can see, this game, we're coming up against a 22-year-old Manny Libok. We are 17, 168 centimetres tall and weigh 79 kilos. So we have got a work out today. But without further ado, we'll get into the game. So here we go then at Newlands. There you see him wearing his bright yellow boots. The fly half. We've got space out on the left hand side already here. So if we can call it. The ball's come to us. Are we going to make a line break already? We've assisted it. We've given it to our teammate as they're attacking already. And what a start for the, um, for the Western Province here. As we will just let the forwards carry it a few phases. Oh, Rory Smith finds himself into the space, he breaks into the 22. Ouch. As we give it out to our centres, we're going in the corner here, surely. And the Western Province, the ball's come back inside, and it's a try. For the Western Province. And I would say I had a bit of involvement in that. I was the start the set at play. And it's Av number one, Alistair Van Merck, who's crossed the line. For the first try of our Curry Cup campaign. And there you see, we're playing flat, we get the ball, it goes wide. And then the show and go. And then the offload to the outside, then back to the inside. And then it's a try. Unfortunately, we're not goal kicking yet. But. That's our thing to work up for, is it's John Luke the Plesis. 
who's going to take the first kick in the Curry Cup. And he's pulled it to the left. Brilliant. So that's a very good start for the Western Province. Oh, as we've injured our opposite number, Manny Leboc has gone off injured. Crouch. Bind. Set. Because you've got the advantage, you've got the free ball. Advantage As we put the little chip over the top for our teammates to chase. They're chasing it very well. And Rory Smith's having a cracking first game in front of all the fans at Newlands. He's never played in front of anything like this before. You're not going to waste his stamina too much. We're going to back pedal, we're going to get in this line. And we're going to have to call the flag here. Rory Smith's in a chase. He comes over with a covered tackle. Oh, I've dived at no one there. A great kick from young Rory Smith there look at it there's camera zooming in on him and as you can see he's playing with a smile on his face as Smith gets a chance to break down the right hand side he does so but then gets caught by the uh, blue balls winger Release. Look at that, we've assisted another line break there and pulling strings. Khaleesi feeds me the ball. Ah, oh, I've dropped it. Smith with a big tackle. So it's going into half time break. Rory Smith's had a great first half. As you can see him there talking to Peter uh, Dutrois on the way in. The young 17 year old looks to be proving himself so far. But there's still a long way to go. And he can mess up very, very easily. Into the second half we go at Newlands. And again, we're not even play kicking. It's John Lucas de Plesis. As we'll just set up a little phase. As I've got Sonata on my left shoulder, and I've got the other wing on my right, I'm lining things up. What do I do here? I take the man, I give it on, and there's a line break again. Ah. Oh. No, there's been an interception, as I called for that. Little mistake in the second half. Another little chip over the top by Smith. He's gained territory as well, and they've got the ball back of the um, Western Province. There's a gap for Smith. Smith can be away, he gets caught just 
Body up position, scrum off. Smith might be called upon here. He's been absolutely smoked and Rory Smith's in trouble. And the blue balls are back in it just like that. I've been showing up there big time. Can their fullback do what John Luke de Plesis didn't? No, he can't. It's not actually that windy at Newlands, but both kicks have sailed to the right hand side of that upright. Is this now a fight? That's a great. Oh, ouch. And there's going to be a yellow card coming here for their number 15, who's just missed that conversion. It's a yellow card. So now, as the store, as the Western Province, can we make advantage with this 14 minutes to go? John Luke de Plesse here stops to go for post, and he's missed it, and it's gone dead. And I might have to start working on my goal kicking. So turn one on the blind side here. They put the kick in behind. Can I make it before he can? I can't. And is it my fault we've conceded again? No, they've kicked it out on the full. Five minutes to go at Newlands. And defensively, I'm looking very weak. comes to me, I send it out wide and this could be a breakaway started by me again as Rory Smith tries to get there and uh, it's getting very hot headed the manager is very happy with my uh, with my performance there, except the handling errors I came successful at everything else and I didn't attempt the drop goal because there's so many things going through my mind but I'm up to 60 rated already after one game with Western Province and I'm hoping this will help me launch my career. So we're into game two at the Johnson Kings Park where it's round two of the Curry Cup. It's the South Sea Sharks taking on the Western Province and it's step two in the Curry Cup journey for Rory Smith if you can see him there in the 10 jersey. Today as my opponent I'll be taking on Kerwin Bosch who've been in contention to play for South Africa recently so I'm gonna have a very big game on against me here so I'm gonna make sure I have to perform with all eyes on me as a 17 year old it's the first game we're playing in the wet as well in the curry cup and we're underway in round two hopefully this game goes better than last game for me Is there going to be an early of the South Sea Sharks? It's over to me to take out a former teammate of mine, JJ Peterson, who was playing at the Leicester Tigers when I was in their academy. So that is going to be a big battle.
as I'll clear the ball. That's my first big kick of the game. And I've found space on the right hand side. I might have my work cut out on this left hand side, it's 3v2, no there we go, it's just 3v3. As I've dived, I've missed my tackle, but there's another forward pass. South African weather is not doing any teams any justice a quarter into the game. As I line up my former teammate JJ Beatson. As I've made a break, I've only got JJ Peterson to beat who's caught me. But I made a clear line break for the first time in my career. The ball's kept in very well from my teammates. I say that and they get driven out. <laughs> but now it's no easy exits. Getting Bosch's head. We got the ball back. Midfield, it comes to me. I spill it, I didn't have a choice whether to pass it or anything. I oh, got absolutely smashed by their flanker. Advantage over. Then there's line break. I forced the mistake this time with the slippy ball. But we can, nobody can keep the ball at the minute. Neither is all the sharks. As I keep missing tackles, and the coaches are not going to like to see that. As they go for the little chip over the top to the sharks. As I go to the boot again, and I clear it downfield to the right hand side. Oh, and there's an injury. It's Muller de Plesis. I don't know if he's John Luke's brother. But there is an injury. Uh, an injury. An injury. It's been a fairly even game again Five. in these horrible conditions. Set. As we win the line out back. I'm not getting drawn into that. I've got a little trick up from the sleeve. I've gone for the ch chip and chase. Roy Smith. Oh, they picked it up and dotted it down. It was a good idea there. And it looked like it might work for a second. So they've knocked it on. We've got a chance to attack just before the half time break. Oh, I've slipped into the pocket. Am I going to go for a drop goal? No, for my first points in my career. As I'm letting it just sit into the midfield. As I go for it, on my right foot, I've been tackled as I've kicked it. And advantage over. So we're going into the break 0-0.